Morning, fellas. Remember our Tommy Robinson? He was arrested outside Leeds Crown Court for reading the charge sheet out on a gang of 29 uh, paedophiles. This was 27 men and two women. Well, that wasn't the only bunch. In total, I believe, it's three bunches of them. Three bunches of roughly 28 per bunch. And a strange coincidence, they all follow, seem to follow, one ideology. How strange is that? There's, there's not a Sikh man, or a Christian man, or a, even, indeed, a Jewish man amongst them. Or woman, because there's a couple of women in, involved, too, uh, who obviously uh, turned away and didn't do their maternal duty and had any duty of care over, over these girls they just encouraged their men folk to go ahead and violently gang rape them threaten them with razor blades uh, knives and what have you to make them do the disgusting things that these perverts wanted them to do i won't go into that you can imagine with three or four men attacking each girl or more you can imagine what sort of things they got up to doesn't bear thinking about really. Yes, 29 men and one woman face charges of sexually abusing girls as young as 13. The one Tommy covered, uh, one was 11 or 12. Offences, uh, the historical offences from 2005 to 2012 when they were having a right good time when the police wouldn't listen to these girls or the parents or anybody else or even to common sense because these are all belong to the religion of peace. That beautiful bunch of people, and their prophet was so lovely, so lovely. He loved kids. Not the same way you like kids, or I like kids. But yes, their prophet really liked kids, in a quite uh, <coughs> strange way. Yes, 30 people, including a woman, are appearing in court today and tomorrow, charged with child sexual grooming offences, including rape and human trafficking. Which dipstick thought of this grooming idea, hey? It just... It, what a stupid term. Sort of violence and giving them drugs and shoving cocaine up the nose and branding the backsides with white hot steel as anything to do with grooming. Yes, uh, five young girls. It's just a sample. They know they've done dozens and dozens of poor young girls uh, who've got pregnant, what have you. Five young girls and teenagers were allegedly carried out between 2005 and 2012. And it's got a couple of pictures of them. Well, the guy on the left doesn't look too European to me. Well, you know, I'm, I'm quite tanned, so you never know. He could be. He could be. Uh, oh, I mean, oh, I mean Ali Coley. Hmm. Doesn't sound exactly like John Smith is, does it? Or, you know, George Fletcherish. Doesn't sound very European, does it? And uh, these guys have covered the faces up, but they are of the same rang. Umar Zaman left and Basharat Hussein. Well known name. Well known Christian name, Hussein, isn't it? You see loads of Husseins down the church, don't you, on a Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, last time, last time I had a word with the priest, I think his name was Abdul Majid. Yeah, there we go, there we go. And, uh, oh good, glad to see a couple of locals are giving him a bit of verbal. Good man, good man, I wish I was there. Muhammad, uh, yeah, he's another good Protestant. It's plainly a, pro a Protestant, and Muhammad is a well-known Protestant name, as you, as you know. It, it probably goes back to German Lutherism or something, with a name like Muhammad, doesn't he? Yes, uh, the, 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 the Immigrants Defence League, the Socialist Party. Oh, Socialist Party, somebody protested. Yes, 17... Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know how history seems to repeat itself? If you put in grooming gang uh, confronted, whatever, at uh, Huddersfield, you will find last year, in May 2017, there was another gang of 28... 30, well, another two gangs of 28, 30 people a total of 60 or 70 people who were also who had also been gang raping poor little frightened shaking 12 year olds so you know when when people start shouting at Tommy oh you were being a racist well you know don't you think these men are being a little bit supremacist and racist don't you think so I mean these were innocent girls most of them are virgin girls who've never been with anyone who were just a bit naive and a bit silly and didn't have a dad around or brothers around to give them good advice. You know, hence the grooming. They win their trust. They don't tell your mum, don't tell your mum. And at first, they think it's like a bit of a relationship. You know, they think they might be with this guy forever. Haven't, if they've got a romantic view. But it never works out that way. Oh, here's another good Protestant. Yes. Looks like, oh yes, looks like a poddy dog to me. What do you reckon, guys? Yes, I could see him. Uh, I could see him... Uh, 
helping with the uh, altar service every every week, can't you? With a name like Banner As Hussein. Yes, so there we go. This is the second gang of pedos at Huddersfield, uh, who, if you dare mention it, you're being a racist, of course. And there's these couple of people giving them jip, protested, good girl, good woman, and a young man there, giving them loads. I hope you did. Give them loads of verbal, because they surely do deserve it. So see you guys, so this is the, the second group uh, that Tommy didn't get a chance to cover because he was locked up. And he was on his way, obviously, he's finishing off his holiday, recuperating in, in Tenerife. So, but while he's not on the scene, I just thought I'd do a little bit of his work and uh, just to show you these, these uh, established Christian, <laughs> established Christian pedophiles. Uh, well, we're not actually, of course, obviously. They're certainly not Sikhs, they're certainly not Jewish, and I doubt very much if this man is a, is a Protestant. So I'll leave it up to you to decide what ideology he might well follow. Okay, see you guys.